All right, as we gear up for election night, certain groups across Middle Tennessee are voicing concerns about state voter laws that they call a modern day poll tax. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us from the Davidson County Election Commission. And Jason, this concern started with a new study. Yeah, that's right. The folks in here are the ones that guide the elections here in Davidson County. But all across the state, if you are convicted of a felony, you're not allowed to vote while you're in prison. But some folks say getting that right to vote back after you're released can be a lot harder than you might think. It's a report that the ACLU of Tennessee says is startling. According to the Sentencing Project, more than one in five African Americans in Tennessee can't vote because of felony convictions. Statistics at the Nashville chapter of the NAACP says starts with a look at the criminal justice system. The system is, is perpetuating some of the problems. They say people of color are more often charged with crimes in the first place, sending them to prisons for felonies. That's where they say the ban on felons voting begins. If you don't believe me, go to court. Go down and see who is in the courts. I mean, just go to any court. But the ACLU of Tennessee says the problem continues long past a criminal's sentence. Tennessee is the only state in the country that bans former felons from voting until they pay all their child support. Bills that the ACLU says can mount up to tens of thousands of dollars while a criminal is behind bars. There is no way, again recognizing how difficult it is to get an apartment, to get a job, to be able to have the money to pay court fines and fees and to be able to be current in child support. The ACLU says it will simply take public awareness of those facts before laws about felon disenfranchisement can be changed. There are certain crimes in Tennessee that bar a convict for voting for, for life. Those include murder, aggravated rape, and voter fraud. Reporting live in Nashville, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, thanks. The sentencing project issued a similar report based on 2010 numbers. According to that study, the rate of disenfranchised African Americans in the state has gone up 2% over the last six years.